What's going on? Um, the other day I was kind of hearing this guy and he's talking about all these people on the alt-left. The alt-left. It's like, fuck left and right. They're both fucking wrong. Uh, in this world. Uh, but he was saying basically like people are trained to see Nazis everywhere. And it's like, you know, back in the day, like McCarthyism with communists, every, every, all your political opposition, you just basically declare them. You say, he's got communist ties. And everyone at that time was so brainwashed and indoctrinated and, and full of fear. They would have basically had like a, a witch trial, witch hunt on this person just by near accusation of, 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 of a communist. Which, you know, these communists are really fucked up. World socialist world uh totalitarian style of uh ideology you know what i'm saying but in all actuality look there are nazis everywhere dude sorry there's so many nazis in this in this world i mean the japs during world war uh two or one or whatever they were nazi ish even though they didn't take the title nazi but their elitist style we want to take over the world by force that's that's what a Nazi is, man. It's not just like an actual Nazi per se. Uh, when you get a race gang like that's like, we're the chosen people and everyone else needs to die. Look, that's a Nazi. That's a Nazi mentality. Uh, and another thing, Operation Paperclip, man. Listen, they, they, uh, basically, it's like it's like imagine if you know a bunch of bloods, man, caught a bunch of Crips, you know, at a funeral. They surrounded the funeral, and then they moved in in a big circle, and they were like, either you join us, motherfucker, or death. You can be in there with your homeboys. Look, the motherfuckers all took the took the deal, and they took their blue clothes off, threw them in the grave, and then frickin' put on the red. That's what the Nazis did after World War II. Uh, they were exported all over the planet to different places under different ga uh, names. They all got shit hit the fan extractions. That means basically they fake your death like Jesse James and uh, uh, Billy the Kid and all that. They fake your death. They have some photo of some other guy that looks like you with a couple holes in his head. And they show that in the newspaper, which means these guys are connected with the fucking... It's all connected. Uh, and they fake it, man. Uh, they literally did that with the whole Nazi war machine the whole political ideology all their scientists all their weapons engineer techs all their biotech uh you know uh defense and offensive chemical weaponry uh all rocket every time we see nasa you're looking at nazis every single freaking time you look at nasa you're looking at nazis now tell me you don't see nazis well i don't see them everywhere but I see them all over the freaking place. Trump's logo, if you looked at it, it was four T's in this configuration with the bottom of the stem. Uh, or the T was connected, the bottom of the stem came out. But if you looked at it, it was a fucking swastika. The other day, there was a picture of Trump. He was going like this, look. With his arm out. That was what... It, 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 was, it, it looked just like Hitler. Hitler used to do that. I'm just saying, and then there's something called the Fourth Reich. There was Nazis in America during World War II who wanted to join the cause of the Nazis. Like, this is, these are your hardcore right, your alt-right, hardcore alt-right, neoconservative, uh, cut the welfare, build the wall, pot's illegal, let's do prohibition. Uh, if you don't, you know, I mean... It's, it's not, it's, and look, they, dude, they were lynching people, dude, 50, 70 years ago in America, in free America. They were lynching people, black people mostly. Freaking look, so come on, man. It's not out of the picture that, hey, have we become over, ran, oh, we had a black president. <laughs> well, what if, you know what I'm saying? If since a child, he was owned by nazis and he was trained by jesuits which help distinguish or look they're who help give the nazis the false cover make a nazi a priest send him to a convent down in argentina you know what i'm saying uh or wherever canada i mean if they were if they were sent here then they they could have made that deal with any country 
It's called something like, what is it, diplomatic immunity. It's like, okay, because you know so much shit about this, we'll overlook your criminal record and give you a job. They do it all the time with safe crackers and uh, uh, hackers and frauders. With The FBI does it all the time, that movie, Catch Me If You Can. Freaking, they hired the guy as one of their workers, employees, after they busted him. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing that went down here. And this is, look, this is historical fucking fact. Uh, you got something called the Boule. That's the black KKK. The KKK pays certain black people high, high dollars to, to assume certain positions in society so that they can say that they're not racist. But secretly, these same black people, like on... on Menace to society, not menace to society, but uh, boys from the hood, when the cop, he puts the gun up to Trey's face, and he's like, I hate little niggers like you. And it was a black guy that said it. That is the truth. That's Margaret Singer. That's eugenics. That's Willie Lynch. Make you hate your own fucking kind. Uh, same thing. And I, I've seen white people say, I hate white trash. Uh, then white trash on welfare. Look, there's neoconservatism. That's, there's inner race hatred and i mean it's so it's like look once you go racist it normally really has no real 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 enemy to attack because there's i mean you know if you go looking in any hood for trouble you'll find it white hoods black hoods mexican hoods uh chinese hoods i'm sure if you went up there going whoa and just started kicking kicking over their stuff you know they'd kick your ass their their little mafia their little tongs or whatever will come get your ass uh, it's, it's so crazy, but this, it's like prison, like in prison, man, they make all these race gangs, man, that's the way every, everything is organized, dude, and it's based on our real society, I'm so sick of people in denial, I'm not saying, I'm like, look, I, I hardly ever get a racial, a real true racial slur these days from anyone, but look, where we're coming from, it is real, like, uh, you know, um, uh, like, uh, yeah, black people couldn't sit on the bus in the front of the bus, man, back in the day. That was That's real shit. They really did that. That's a Nazi caste system style society. Uh, and, and look, they took the Japs during World War II, put them in internment camps. They had concentration camps in America. The Indians, they started, this nation is founded off of concentration camps, man. In order to make this country that we all so much love, they had to take Indians and put them in reservations. And Hitler actually used that that same methodology in doing the Holocaust. You know what I'm saying? Which means it's... The, I, I read another book like Jubilees or Jasher and it said Holocaust. It just means a burnt offering is a Holocaust. So the the way that they even call it a Holocaust, it's like, look... It's a religious term. It's for like a burnt offering, for like a trespass offering. You know what I'm saying? Is it also would be a holocaust. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just there's so much out of context information. And it's like, yeah, there's these race pride gangs in every race, dude. And, they're, and, and like in a lot of times, the one, since it had no enemies secretly... It has someone of a of a different race go and start a gang too. So now all of a sudden they got competition. It's like, okay, now we got two gangs that can fight. You, we can make an issue now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not as it appears. Your common person on the street has got common racism. You know what I'm saying? Like this or that. But I'm talking about hardcore. You bred swastikas on the wall, Nazi uh, regalia. Nazi, uh, what is that shit called, man, paraphernalia, you know, shit like that, uh, that's, that's when you know someone's, like, really, really, really deep in the nationalistic, uh, statist cult, uh, and, uh, you know, this totalitarian scientific dictatorship that, uh, Huxley was talking about, the, that's what the Nazis did, they were, tr they were seeking that, they were trying to, through science, I mean, they, 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 it's basically corporations, when corporations mix with state, that is called corporatism, aka fascism, that's what the Nazis are, it's actually socialism too, it was called the German Socialist Party, before it was called the Nazi Party, so they were socialists, so fascist, socialism, same thing, it's just, 
there's different ways to take over the state, but in the end result, you get a hardcore iron fist dick fucking tatorship. And, and it's like I'm, I'm just saying, dude, it's historical fact, man, that there has been European uh, racism across the planet and domination. Like there's a part in the Bible where it says, and I've seen one man rule over another man to his own hurt. You know what I'm saying? Freaking these people like to do these sorts of things, but they don't realize it makes them, it taints them. By uh, feeling that they are entitled. That's real entitlement. You are a second class N-word monkey. You came from a monkey and you're darker than me. So look, I pay this other white guy to own you to do all my N-word work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, that's true entitlement. That's like, uh, that is really what you're looking at. And it's it's a mindset. It's an ideology. It's... The state owns you. Look, your 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 merchandise. You've been merchandised. Uh, uh, wait, commodification. Look, uh, globalization. That's what this shit is all about. It's slavery, which that's what the KKK was all about. Slavery. They not too long ago. They used to. You could buy men. You know what I'm saying? And then beat them, kill them, rape them. Uh, beat them up in front of their wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, do all these horrible things. And, like, we're, I have seen a man rule over another to his own hurt. Because, you know, it's like, uh, and, you know, uh, what goes around comes around, man. And it's like, look, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. So when you operate in such a manner, you're almost setting yourself up for failure to live as you uh have wished others to live under it's like it's just weird man it's just even the you know uh it's the gin it's the monkey's paw you know you might get what you want but then once you get it now you get all the shit that comes along with it now and all the bad karma's coming back around on you now uh you know what i'm saying and here's another thing listen dude you look into cointel pro it was white motherfuckers all targeting minority groups. Period, man. You can, There's no way to whitewash that. There's no way to downplay that. To, oh, no, it ain't like that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Same thing. It's just like.